Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna be playing Watcher of Hell, uh, right? And we're gonna be talking about Reeve and his reappearance as a limited character, so let's get right into it. So, Reeve, right? Reeve. Well, Reeve is one of the characters that actually helped my uh, my progression and my account tremendously when I got him. I was actually so clueless when I got him. I started playing this game uh, when Reeve and Arrogance and the Zack Banner came. Um, and I was going for Arrogance, like, so hard. So, so, so hard. I loved the appearance, I loved the, the kit. And even though I was such an early game player, I already could ha could imagine how good he was. But I got a Razak, and I got Razak twice, and it was such a big ouch. <laughs> but um, but because I was kind of frustrated, I had like 20 summonings left, and I was like zero out of 250 summons into PT for the Reef Banner, and I summoned once, and I was lucky enough to get him. And that was insane for me. I know some of you guys might hate me for this, but I was very, very, very lucky and I'm very grateful for it because it allowed me to basically progress very, very easily through campaign and uh, also get the resources much easier because in case you don't know, Reeve over here um, in his skill set has this passive called Gold Mastery. Gold obtained through battle is increased by 6%. So that is very 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 good and coupled with uh, Razak which I already got Razak has an, e an EXP bonus so if you have both of them in your layout in your lineup uh, you will get a bonus quite a good bonus if you do for example 100 runs of a EXP run or gold run that's going to be quite a, an insane bonus it's gonna be very helpful so besides that besides being very 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 good He's going to uh, help in the late game. Right now, as you can see in my gear, Captain Reeve is in a tank gear, somewhat uh, high HP. I could have more, but uh, I have around 90k, uh, 89,000. Almost 90k HP because I'm using him in my uh, Guild War lineup. And that's uh, that's very very helpful because he has the most 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 crowd control any tank in this game that we've gotten so far, right? Uh, has his ultimate actually uh, provides a lot of AOE damage and stun. He's going to stun around every second or so. So that's quite amazing because even though those monsters that are attacking aren't actually um, being stunned all the time that delay is so short that depending on the monster they might not even get to attack sometimes like they are like ah, I'm gonna hit you uh, stunned okay okay refreshing the animation uh, I'm gonna hit you uh, stunned never mind and this is <laughs> this is actually happening with in a lot of scenarios and this is why he's very good in guild war as well because some uh, demons in guild war actually have this anim animation and is actually stunning them quite frequently so it's an amazing hero to have um, <clears throat> not only be because of his utility but also because of his uh, tankiness because of his crowd control abilities uh, he's also a limited hero so very hard to get and uh, his ultimate is rather um, cheap considering how long it is right you see him uh, you need 900 uh, uh, you start at 900 when you place him down and then it goes down to 400 it's it's quite uh, it's quite a good character besides that he scales with attack you heard me right he's a tank that scales with attack and what does that mean it means that <laughs> he can actually do gear 120 almost solo and and he can actually deal so much damage in gear 121 which arguably is one of the hardest gear rates that we have so far arguably so in case you haven't seen it yet i made a video in which i cleared the raid 120 without power of dominance uh, only with him and artemis artemis being in a mediocre gear stat wise because he was in this gear set over here um, had a lot of attack but actually 
seeing this gear over here, you might think, oh, so Artemis did a lot of damage. No, actually, Reeve was my most damage done hero. He had almost 100 million damage. That's right, he can do as that much damage as a tank and on top of it all, also crowd, um, crowd control. So that's already amazing. I'm gonna put that video on screen if, uh, if I haven't already and I'm gonna put it in the description below so you can access it if you want it, if you want to see it. So yeah, overall, besides that, he's also healing himself. He's also damage boosting himself and he has a passive called Packed with the Drawn Drowned that inflicts slow on seven enemies in range. Just, just that, it's simply that. Um, it can go up to 10, like, it doesn't, you don't need to do anything, just place him down and it slows people. So, what does that mean? It means that it's going to be very, very, very good in Gear 4, right? Because in Gear 4, uh, I think Fastidious uh, did a showcase in which he used Maul uh, with his ultimate to just uh, push people further away. Uh, further distance away so they don't reach their his defenders uh, as quickly as possible to um, kite them out sort of not kite them out but actually uh, crowd control them i guess uh, ever since then moonton actually patched that one on forerunner i think uh, as, or so i've heard because i don't have a forerunner account neither a test account yet maybe moonton if you see this maybe you can actually help me out with this one uh, but uh, you can no longer do that with maul you cannot push them back with mole in gear rate 4 so but um you can actually slow them now with reef which is quite amazing quite an amazing trade-off if you have him not only that but besides these leaks of reef coming this weekend which is i think 90.99.9 percent .9 true <laughs> i am i would be very surprised if this doesn't happen uh we're gonna receive also a reef skin so i'm gonna put that on the screen right now so you can see this is going to be in my opinion one of the best skins there are um this is going to be uh, burning reef I, it, it kind of looks like uh, that character i'm i forgot his name there we go so he looks <laughs> like ghost rider i had uh, a brain fart so he looks like Ghost Rider in, in that skin, which is quite nice. It's a very, very nice skin and his ultimate is going to look so, so much better. His ultimate already looks nice, but it has a lot of effects. It has a lot of chains going in a spiral upwards. So those spirals are going to be actually flaming anchors looking very, 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 very cool. So uh, I'm already a big fan of, uh, of this skin line. Other than that, uh, besides just wanting to let you guys know and prepare ahead of time, maybe save some resources until uh, Reef comes because he's going to be one of the best tanks on your account, definitely, so save for him, please just do, it's going to be amazing. I will create a video, I will make a video tomorrow about the upcoming Raid 4. Munton has released a video and I'm talking about it, I'm going to uh, nitpick it and uh, provide some information on the side. Uh, help you guys prepare for it, maybe strategize ahead of time, help you with some information so that you can actually go into your hero tab and uh, see what heroes you might want to level up, switch gear around, prepare for it, because it's going to be a limited uh, time gear raid as, as far as I know. Also, um, as if Destin is right and uh, the leaks are right, we are also going to receive his exclusive artifact. So. Um, right now, people usually use the other artifacts. Some, I've seen some people use Regal Crest, some people use the um, Union Crystal. Being so versatile, he works with a bunch of artifacts, but um, his exclusive actually does quite a bit of damage as well. I've used his exclusive in the video I've mentioned before, well, he, where he did uh, 100 million damage in Gear 8 120. So, that's quite good right and we are going to get him get his exclusive for free so that's another reason to actually pull for him right so quite excited about this again let me know if you're gonna pull for him right let me know if you already have him this has been andy event horizon gaming don't forget to like to subscribe uh to leave a comment i read every single comment that i see uh, i love to interact with you guys um, and yeah, this has been uh, everything I want to say. Have a good week and see you guys. Bye bye.